let me explain a little bit more about, uh, about uh, how 3D printing works. And let me explain also that 3D printing is not a mass production technology. It's a rapid prototyping technology. It's a great way to make one of something. Um, which is good for uh, two things, either to make the prototype that you're ultimately going to make many of, or because you want something that's custom, just for you. Um, you don't want the mass-produced thing. Um, today's, uh, today, um, industrial 3D printers, and, and you know, my, my, my robot company, we have, we have industrial 3D printers, and they're fantastic. Um, uh, at home, we have a MakerBot, and it's, and it's pretty crude. It's more like a dot matrix printer. Um, Right now, um, the, the ones you buy at home basically take a filament of plastic, ABS plastic, which is the same stuff that you use in Lego, and just kind of melts it and you know, it sort of squeezes it out in a little, little bead and it builds things up over layers. Um, there's other ways that use resins, um, you know, liquid resin, there's things that use powders, um, et, et cetera. Um, you can go to a site called Shapeways, um, and you can, and they have like more expensive 3D printers, and you can upload that same design and you can get things printed in titanium, stainless steel. Um, you know, gold-plated, et cetera. The quality is astounding. Um, GE, you know, 3D prints turbine blades for jet engines. So there's almost, you know, there, there are some limits to what you can do with a 3D printer, but, but not that many. What the limit is that those titanium printing ones are quite expensive. The question is simply, how long is it going to take? You know, so it took, I don't know, what, 15 years to get from the dot matrix printer to the photo quality inkjet on your desktop. Mm -hmm. About 15 years, maybe, maybe yeah, a little bit longer. Yeah. You know, we're at the dot matrix phase on the desktop right now, how long is it going to take to the photo quality um, you know, printer? I don't think it's going to be 15 years, in part because it actually shares the same sort of mechanical technology as that inkjet. Mm -hmm. It just adds, rather than inkjet is to be a little wonky, an XY uh -huh. um, printer, and just this uh, 3D printer is an XYZ. The interesting stuff gets into like materials. So right now, we can, right now on my printer, we can do one color in plastic and, and pretty low resolution. The next one will do one color in plastic, will do two colors in plastic at better resolution. The next one will do three colors and start to mix them, and now you're starting to get, now you're starting to, um, you know, to be able to kind of print um, images as well as, as, well as uh, shapes.